Speak Broccoli! Hello and welcome to this Speak Broccoli tutorial. Today I'll be showing you one way to achieve the Ant-Man growing and shrinking effect. I'm basing this tutorial on one of my stop motion videos, Lego Avengers Infinity War, Where Was Ant-Man? And here's a look at the finished effect in action. The main element of this tutorial will involve using black plasticine. I will use this to create the four different stages of the growing and shrinking process. If you have time, you could add extra details such as red plasticine for the texture of the suit and perhaps some grey for the hands and helmet, but plain black will work just fine. So first up is the sculpting. I found it helpful to mark out some points on a piece of paper to act as a reference point for scale and size. This is the first figure I made, the smallest one, and I'm going to recreate this live just to show you the process of how I made it. I began by rolling out a sphere for the head, then for the body I found it best to make the chest and legs out of the same unit using a ruler to split the gap in the legs. found this easier for keeping the figure balanced. The arms were separate, which I rolled out and cut the same length. A really good tip is to keep your previous figures on the table as you build the next one, just to make sure it's not too big or too small. You want each one to get gradually bigger. So squeeze on the arms, then get a toothpick, cut a bit off, stick it in the top of the body and attach the head. Now repeat the process till you have four plasticine figures that look something like this. Now comes the filming. If you simply replace Ant-Man with the different plasticine models, it can end up looking quite static. To avoid this, I had Ant-Man swing his arms back a little to create a sense of momentum that I found made the growing effect more realistic. Then you simply photograph and replace it with the next biggest figure, repeating this process till you arrive at Giant Man. I stuck him down with some blue tack because he was hard to balance. Carrying on from Ant-Man's initial arm swing, I had Giant Man complete the process by swinging his arms up and gently back down. And here's a look at the finished piece. Not bad, right? There is an extra step, but you'll need a laptop or computer as we're going to be messing with masking and opacity. I'm going to start by showing you the finished piece. It's a subtle difference, but one that I believe adds that extra dimension to the effect. I started with Final Cut Pro, importing the footage into the timeline. You can use any editing software so long as it allows you to mask and manipulate opacity. So bring in the clip and play it back to make sure it's the one you want. Then I'm going to start separating each of the growing stages. So not the whole video, just the parts where Ant-Man is growing. I shoot double so I'll be cutting every two frames. Now for the tricky part. There are six stages of growth. One Lego Ant-Man, four plasticine figures and one Lego Giant Man. Copy the second clip, that's the first of the plasticine figures. Paste it and drag it below clip number one. Then copy clip number three, paste it and drag it below clip number two. Then repeat this process till you have five copied clips below. Drag your first copied clip on top, go to the effects browser, choose masks and drag the draw mask template on top of your clip. Now you're going to trace around your figure as best you can. You can spend longer to get it more accurate if you like. Change the opacity to 60% and you get this really nice see-through layer of the next stage. A ghost projection of where he's going. Now simply repeat the process for the other clips. It's the draw mask option, trace around the figure and change opacity to 60%. Obviously you can tweak this depending on how transparent you want the effect. It is possible to get away with no masking, just simply change the opacity, but I found that the shadow of each figure affected the backgrounds and if you're going to include camera movements then you will need to mask. I think it's easier to do the masking option first and experiment later. So when that's done, cycle back through your clips to make sure you are happy with the playback, which should look something like this. I hope this video has been helpful and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching this Speak Broccoli tutorial. Speak.